but joining us is the head coach of the UND Greyhounds. It's Brent Nickerson and coach, congratulations on another team championship. Sorry about that. Your microphone. That's all right. Thank you very much. It feels really good. Really proud of the team. Um, you know, all weekend it was somebody different. And today, I mean, we just played a really, really solid round of golf. We weren't real happy with how we finished yesterday. Um, so they kind of regrouped and came out on a mission today and shot one under par as a team. It's pretty solid. I was going to say pretty solid. I, yeah. That's uh, that's a really good round of golf from your team going one under and uh, conditions got better as the weekend went along. And actually today it seems like everything was as fast as it was going to be. Yeah, the, the golf course really changed from the practice round until today. It really sped up, got firm and fast, and the pins were a little bit easier today than they were yesterday. Yesterday was really tough out there. Um, but I think more, more importantly it was just the mindset of the team. Um, you know, I, I feel bad for Annika. She was tied for the lead coming in today. She had a tough day, but the other four girls picked her up where, you know, Annika led us in the first couple of days, and, um, you know, she picked them up. So it's just been a total team effort and all five kids, and obviously I'm proud of Paxton. She played an unbelievable back nine to win that individual title. Talk about uh, – you talk about Paxton coming on to win in, in the end and coming from behind. Uh, she picks up a birdie on 15 to go one under. Uh, but talk about Pilar's round minus two best round of the day. And uh, really she's been uh, a really good addition to your team over the last couple of years. Oh, she's really solid. She's a good kid. She's a good leader. And yesterday was very uncharacteristic for her to shoot 79. Um, she kind of lost her way mentally and – we had a good talk last night via text messages, and I, I thought she might come out and, and play a good round. I didn't know she'd go 33 on the back to shoot 70. Um, but she's been solid for two years, and, you know, I couldn't ask for more leadership out of her, you know, today when we needed her. We knew – we always talk. We don't take anything for granted. Um, we knew – we had to take into you know, consideration that we thought UMSA was going to make a run. I know Troy's group didn't make that run today, but we have to assume that they're going to. And all, f all five girls made a mission that, you know, we want to win today's round. and. Uh, you know, Pilar went out and led us, and Paxton wasn't too far behind. And talking to some of the girls this weekend, they always say that you guys get together and you and you talk strategy about a golf course. And, and now that the weekend's over, what was mm -hmm. the strategy for your team this weekend against a, a, tr a course that's very wide open? It has its challenges, a lot of up, uphill, downhill, a lot of wind here comes through the area. What was the what was the, the game plan this weekend? Yeah I, yeah, I wouldn't really call it wide open. There's a lot of obstacles in trees and, and different bunkers and things like that. Our game plan was to take all the trouble out of play with our tee balls and then Number two, we, which we've lived by for the seven years that we've been here, is hit greens at all costs. And today, you know, out there you have to be really careful with where you hit the greens, but that's the goal was to take trouble away off the tee and then to hit greens at all costs. Coach, congratulations on another GLBC championship, and uh, best of luck to you next weekend. Thank you, and thank you for everything you do, and thank you for what Jeff does. This is, um, you know, this conference championship, you guys make it feel special for the student athletes, and, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't say thank you to Fox Run. The golf course was absolutely perfect this week. Thank you, guys.